What's up ladies and gents? This is Casey Kid coming at you with another Destiny video. Today it's almost the new year and it is Iron Banner. Iron Banner is going to ring in the new year for Destiny and since I happen to be home I can go ahead and take a look at what Lord Saladin has to offer all of us lovely guardians. So if you enjoy this video go ahead and smack that like button and subscribe to the channel. Now, as you know, the Iron Banner is around, and that means Sparrow Racing is no more. So hopefully you got your fill of it, because now it's time to go back into PvP and shoot off our guns. Let's take a look at all of the new gear that Lord Saladin is bringing this time. It looks like he has boots and helmets. The Iron Companion boots look pretty good. They are Intellect and Discipline on the Warlock. Looks like it's got Second Wind on it, which is good. Those are the same perks that you get from the Trials of Osiris boots, so that's pretty nice. I don't love the look of them, but they're pretty cool. The Iron Companion hood is the Iron Banner gear that you're going to see on the Xbox and PlayStation. Remember that this time around, the PlayStation community actually has new gear that the Xbox community is not getting. You can see that this has Ashes to Assets, Angel of Mercy, and Better Already, along with Intellect and Discipline on the Warlock Hood. Surprisingly, on the PlayStation exclusive helmet, it is the exact same thing. So even if you're on the Xbox, don't feel like the PlayStation community is getting something significantly better. We're getting the exact same gear, it just looks different. And I think it does look kind of cool. I think this one looks pretty sharp. Moving on to the weapons that we're going to play for, we've got the Hakan's Hatchet, and I was wondering if this was going to have the same rate of fire as the Doctrine. I was kind of hoping, because a lot of times whenever the Iron Banner gear, the weapons, comes around, they really put a nice, perfect PvP weapon for sale. Unfortunately, I don't really think this hits the mark. This has the same rate of fire as, like, the Zalo, and it's got Counterbalance, which is great, but these middle perks don't love them. I don't love any of them. In fact, what I might just do if I end up getting this is rolling with all the top perks. Either that or hoping for the drop to come that has something maybe a little bit better, something that isn't nerfing my stability at the cost of range. For the Daedrus's Retort, it's got full auto. I really like that. But overall, I kind of feel like the Daedrus's Retort that I already got from last Iron Banner is better. It's got some extra range on it, and it has full auto. I do like full auto on my shotguns now, with the different nerfs. You have your different shaders and emblems, I'm still rocking all my year one stuff. And your bounties. The brown gold bounties are your weekly ones. They give you significantly more experience, but they take a little bit longer to do. Your green ones are more your daily bounties. Now for me, you can see that I already have one of my weekly bounties completed. That's because I had these on my character last time around, and I didn't need to turn them in to get to rank 5, so I just held on to them. So what I'm going to do is play on my Warlock later in the week, whenever I've already got some of my other characters up to rank 5, and the experience boosts are coming around, I'm just going to go ahead and pop these and get my Warlock up to rank 5 really quickly, because I've already got one completed, another weekly bounty is nearly done, and I've got this daily bounty nearly done as well. Try to save turning in your weekly bounties until later in the week, because they are such an experience boost. It doesn't make sense to just waste them early whenever you can use them a little bit later and get a big boost to your character to get up to rank 5 because you really want to hit that rank 3 and rank 5 for the packages that Lord Saladin has. Like I got this retort from my rank 5 package and it came at 312 so that's nice. You can also get ghost shells. Hopefully I will get a 320 ghost shell this time. That would be awesome. So that's Iron Banner. It is back. Let me know what you're looking forward to. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and smack that like button and subscribe to the channel to keep updated on daily Destiny content. Check out these awesome videos. Good luck with your raids, your drops, your Iron Banner, and I'll see you around in Destiny. Lord Salad Bar.